Liu Kang. Liu Kang wins. Luke. 
fight. Excellent. Liu Kang wins. Fight. Hey, what's going on? I'm prob cringe. <laughs> I dig the name. Hey, what's going on with you? I say I have MK on Sega Genesis with box and manual. Sega's where I first uh, got the game way back in the day, back in the early 90s. I didn't get it for, new, for the uh, Super Nintendo until later. But, welcome in. I see it's your first time, chat. Appreciate you stopping by. How are you doing today? I just recently bought MK3 from my Genesis, and it also came complete in box. So that's awesome. I figured they would be hard to find nowadays, so if you can get them, that's pretty decent. I don't have any consoles anymore, so I'm kind of jelly, but it'd be nice if I could have those. The old school ones, like uh, 1, 2, 3, Ultimate 3, Trilogy. I think Trilogy you can get for like PlayStation and stuff though. I mean I have them on PC, but I would like to have the originals too. This is the actual arcade collection. I have that and the um... And the DOS box ones on GOG. This I'm, I'm playing on Steam with right now, but... I have the other like DOS ports too. But I don't have any original hardware cartridges or anything like that. Nah, I didn't want to pick this dude. No one ever remembers Vanilla Mortal Kombat 3. It's overshadowed by Ultimate. Yeah, actually, I do remember the regular Mortal Kombat 3. Because uh, Ultimate, the only time I was able to actually play Ultimate was when I went to the arcade. But I did have the regular Mortal Kombat 3. Three is great, I like it, but I mean, I think Ultimate is, just because it has more characters, I, I would say it's better. But three is still decent, I like it. You have any of the new ones? I just got Mortal Kombat 11 yesterday because it was on sale on Steam. I haven't played it. I haven't played any of the newer ones. The only 3D Mortal Kombat I played was 4. And I have that one too on GOG. I'm not a big fan of 4 though. It's kind of not my thing, I guess, is the best way to put it, the nicest way to put it. I don't like the new ones? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I'm gonna give them a shot, though. Somebody told me that 10 
was like better than 11 gameplay wise but it's not on sale so I didn't get it I just got 11 but I'll probably get 10 when that comes out and try it I think my favorite though honestly is 2 I had 2 for the Genesis when it first came out that's like all nostalgia for me I still love that game but I never beat this one so I'm actually trying to beat this today for the first time I don't know I can't find anything wrong with MK4 but I don't really like it yeah I'm, I'm kinda in the same boat I don't dislike it really like it's nothing bad but it just feels I don't know it just it doesn't feel right I don't like the weapon thing really that much either like the pulling out weapons mechanic oh my goodness I think it would have been better if it was just 2D I think like uh, you know they just did like a trilogy thing where they made a 2D fighting game for the PlayStation I think that would have been perfect in my opinion I can tell you a fatality with Scorpion for this game. Yeah, I actually got the, uh, I've got the list of fatalities pulled up on my, uh, laptop right now. I can't do, uh, Liu Kang's for some reason. Like, it says it's forward, down, back, up, forward, but I cannot for the life of me get that to work. I'm guessing Scorpion is your favorite character, I'm guessing. That's why you mentioned him. You remember his fatality from like 20 years ago. Yes, sir. <laughs> I could dig it. I don't even really know who my favorite character is, but if I had... Oh, actually, I do. I like Reptile from Mortal Kombat 2. Oh, he's not like, you know, my favorite. I can't do this guy's finishing move. He's not like my favorite by far, but I definitely like him a lot. Have you seen those new, not really new, but I think they came out last year, the, um, the animated movies they have? I just watched those recently, like, uh, last week for the first time. They're actually pretty good. My brother was telling me to watch them for the longest time, but I never did. I think it's called, um, Battle for the Realms and Scorpion's Revenge is the other one. But, yeah, those are really good. They're WB cartoon movie type things. There are uh, cartoon movies like um, maybe an hour and a half long, made by WB. One's called uh, Scorpion's Revenge, and the other one's called Battle for the Realms. They're like the most recent animated ones. Jesus Christ. Johnny Cage wins. Fight. 
Sounds kind of weird, but also a little cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I didn't uh, okay. see them until late, but I like them a lot. There's also, um, I just saw the new movie last week, the 2021 movie. I was putting off watching that forever because I'm like, I don't know. I'm worried it was going to be trash, which I mean, it wasn't great, but it was better than I thought it would be. Oh, how did I miss the uppercut? I keep pressing the wrong button to block. That's why I keep getting beat like that. I like the old Mortal Kombat movie. Yeah, I, mean, I too. I do too, is what I mean to say. The 95 one. I'm actually about to watch that right now on this other screen while I play this. I remember vividly when that came out. I remember I was in the movie theater with my mother and the preview started playing and I remember thinking to myself like what if this is finally a Mortal Kombat movie and it was and I was like so damn excited because I've been waiting for a movie forever I didn't think they were ever going to make one actually let me throw that on for Actually, let me wait until after this, because I have to mess around with this other PC. Well, laptop, not really a PC. It's on Ubuntu. 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 I never say that right. Damn it. So when I was buying my Genesis, the first thing I asked is if they had was MK. You bought a Genesis recently, you mean? Or, or you had it for a while? And how much did it cost you, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, I just bought one last year. Nice. I'm actually looking to get a Sega Saturn and a Sega Dreamcast sometime soon, if I can find them. 80 bucks? Okay, that's, that's not too bad. I thought it would be crazy because everybody's into the whole retro game collecting thing now, so I figured the prices would go up. But 80, I can, I can deal with 80. 80 is a good price. Damn it. Scorpion win. I don't even know what I did with my old consoles. I got rid of them so long ago. I was a kid, I think. I might have like had it up until like the PlayStation came out and then we got rid of it. Beat this dude. Scorpion win. Oh man. I 
Oh, there's the movie right there. I don't know if you can hear it. He said, well, I didn't have one from back in the day because I, I wasn't actually born then. I'm only 11 and I love old games. Oh, okay, I got you. Well, I'm old. I remember vividly playing this game when I was a kid. God damn it. I got a PS1, Genesis, and N64. Nice, nice. Can't go wrong with any of those. I do want to get my hands on all the old consoles before they before they become really hard to find. Like pretty soon, it's going to be extremely difficult to find them. I know they have emulators and stuff, but I still want to have the actual hardware. Oh wait. Good. Wins. Fight. An original Xbox is like a hundred eighty now. Jeez. Liu Kang. That's 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 even like crazier than the eighty dollar Sega. But the original Xboxes are still good because you can like you can just put like a massive hard drive in them and upload like a ton of games directly to the hard drive. So if you hack it, you can just have like a bunch of games on it without ever having to like put a disc in so they're actually still you know useful I don't have a PS5 or an uh, what is this Xbox Series X whatever it's called I'm not even going to be getting any, any either one of those. I'll just be doing PC gaming from now on. Also, if you want a good spot to buy old games and consoles, see if there's a just press play near you. That's where I buy my old games. Okay, I appreciate the advice. I never heard of just press play, but I'll definitely start looking. The last place I saw a uh, Saturn at was an old like record store in Phoenix. I used to live in Arizona, so I was like in this music store and saw one, and I thought about get I wish I would have gotten it, but I just, I didn't. What happened to the music? Game glitched out on me? Said I also collect CDs. Oh, nice. Music CDs, I'm assuming you mean. I don't have any CDs. I don't have any old media like that.
Liu Kang. Fight. A damn slide. I have Dr. Dre CD. <laughs> I'm currently on the hunt for the Eminem show. Dude, I remember when that album came out. That's one of my favorite albums, actually. The Slim Shady LP is another good one from him. Actually, all his are pretty good. I have a booklet of CDs that um, my buddy left in my car. It's all like rock CDs though. I don't really listen to too much of the stuff he listened to, but there's a few gems in there that I have. It's not really mine, so I don't count it as a collection, but you know, I do have some. I also used to have a big MJ face. You mean case? I don't know what that is. MJ. I thought you were talking about Michael Jackson for a second, but. Punch the shit out of her at the end of that fight. Michael Jackson, yeah. No, I am, but I mean, I used to really like MJ. Yeah, I got you. I do too. I mean, I still like his songs, you know, for what it's worth, but, <laughs> you know, I know what you mean. You can't like but so much of it with, uh, you know, everything that kind of went on with that dude, but... I need to find a way to cheese this fight. He said you love, 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 love his dangerous album. I know I've heard, uh, I know I've heard it, but not too familiar with what's on it. I know, well, Dangerous is on it, obviously, but is that the one with, um, Remember the Time on it? That sounds about the same time frame. If that's the one, then I do remember that album. How did he block my sweep?
Yeah, okay. Actually, my dad had that album, so I remember. That's the one that has like the gold cover, like the Egyptian looking cover or whatever. Sonya wins. If it's that one, then I do like that one. I remember that album. Fight. To be 11 years old, you got a lot of love for uh, old stuff. Oh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. I was wondering what that music was. I didn't know you could block a sweep standing up in this game. I guess you can't crouch block, so... Or maybe you can't crouch block. This game is glitching. I hope I can make it to the end without it crashing. He's hell, dude. Donkey, say hey, brother. I'm working, but wanted to pop in and say hey. Love that you're playing, MK. It was cool. Nice to see you, man. I appreciate you stopping by. Say I followed you. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I don't know if you heard me, but I said thanks. I appreciate that. I was saying earlier. I don't. I also don't know if you heard me, but I was saying to be your age and to have those type of interests, that's uh, that's insane. Like you're digging old school Sega Genesis and Michael Jackson and stuff. Like you have an old soul. Come on. She's beating the hell out of me. What's the point of blocking? Come on, there we go. Kang wins. He said, you ready for Goro? Nah, I don't think so, man. <laughs> it took me like forever just to get here. Jesus. <laughs> oh, he said Goro's kind of easy, dude. I couldn't tell. I just hope the game doesn't start glitching because it's, it's getting kind of weird on me. Okay, maybe he is easy. You're not ready for Goro, LOL? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, this dude's beating the hell out of me. Jeez. Okay, he's gonna trade with me like that. Said Motaro and MK3, he's easy. Yeah, Motaro, I think what I would do is just use um, Cabal, and if you like run up to him and then do that combo and just smack him a few times, you can just keep cheesing him with that. Or if you use Melina and do like the teleport through the floor thing. Kentaro and MK2 Arcade Edition was crazy hard. Yeah, I got a. Um, how did I beat him? I beat him recently. I played through two. I have a video on my YouTube page. I found a way to cheese him. I don't remember what it was though. Oh, this, is, this is what we're gonna do, dude. Okay. We can all agree that Shao Kahn is hard as that. Dude, Shao Kahn is nonsense. <laughs> Wow. 
Shao Kahn is nonsense. Dude, I'm not ready. Wait, do I have a cheese? Nope. Yeah, Shao Kahn is always tough. You suck. <laughs> MK2 cheats a lot. Yeah, I think, I think this game cheats too. I think this one actually reads inputs. Somebody said, I mean, I don't remember who, but I remember somebody was saying like it actually reads your inputs before and reacts to them. So. Yeah, but MK2, Shao Kahn is nonsensical, dude. I cannot figure out a way to cheese this dude. No, this one doesn't. Oh, okay. I could have swore it did, but maybe it's MK2 that they're talking about. How did I miss the uppercut on that? Dude, I am getting hurt right now. <laughs> Dude. I can never uh, uppercut him. He gets he's able to grab me before I can uppercut him. Just do jump kicks and roundhouse like kinda okay, I'll try that. Hold on. Damn, I can't get the roundhouse in. Know about the roadhouse. <laughs> it's not it's not doing me a lot of good. Dude, this dude might be harder than Shang Tsung is. Like I am not I am not having a good time fighting this dude. Jesus dude. Shang Tsung is watching Goro, the ever living life out of you. I guess you mean beat the ever living life out of you, yeah. Dude, he went backhand crazy that time. Yeah. I'm trying to find a way to cheese this dude. There's gotta be some type of exploit in his AI that I can use. I see why I never beat this when I was a kid. I do remember getting to this part, but I don't think I ever got past this. I, I think I played against Shang Tsung a couple times, but I'm not sure. Uh oh, uh oh. Nope. Ah, damn it, dude. I couldn't get away. I just want to beat the game and move on to Mortal Kombat 2, that's all. What? 
What? Here we go. Oh. He's gonna grab me. No, he didn't. I can make him block if I kick when I'm jumping away from him. Well, at a certain distance. MK1 used to be my fave. I just got a flawless victory on Goro, baby. Yeah, MK1 is... It's not my favorite, but it's definitely one of my favorites. 2 is my favorite just because of... You know, it's like the nostalgia thing. When it came out and... All that stuff. I have more clear memories of Mortal Kombat 2 than I do of 1. Because when 1 came out, I was like... When 1 came out, I think I was... 7? Okay, I got the cheese. Dang, good job. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Now it's time to get beat down by this dude. Now this doesn't look familiar at all. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't think I made it to him because this does not look like the Shang Tsung I remember. This dude's floating. not fair. I didn't know this dude could turn into Goro. Yeah, Shang Tsung usually looks different in the other games. He definitely does. He's fast, dude. He can move away like crazy fast. This is going to take a while. Liu Kang. Fight. Dude. <laughs> Dude is embarrassing me. Stop backing up. He goes from an 80 year old to a 35 year old from the 50s. Yeah, this dude is. Something else. And then he goes to. It's crazy that he could turn into Goro. It's also crazy that that slide goes that far that Sub Zero has. Holy crap, I beat him. I should have ducked. I knew I should have ducked. The range on that slide is vicious. Oh man, here it is. Raider Kano, Johnny, Sony, Sub, Scorp, Luke, Raider, 